Yo, what's up my stalkers? How are you guys doing? I'm doing pretty well. Um, had the day off yesterday. And um, yeah, chilled a bit. Uh, played some games. And um, now I'm finally back to The Walking Dead. Um, this is the last episode. And I'm really curious on what's about to happen. Um, Last time we, um, well, tomorrow they are sort of, um, it's sort of a holiday um, for Dutch people. Um, it's called Sinterklaas. Yeah, it's, well, it's not Santa Claus, but it's, well, it's something like it. Well, it's not completely like it, but it's um, a sort of a holiday. And um, there were a lot of people outside, um, all dressed up and making a lot of, lot of noise. So that's why I had to cut the episode short there. But as you can see, oh, I can't really see it, but the curtain behind me um, is closed and it's uh, actually dark outside now, so won't have any troubles um, of that. The only thing that might disturb me is one of the cats that's in the bedroom that wants to come out here, but I don't think that will be that big of a problem. Um, okay, so we have to do this part again. Um, I'm not sure if I can choose the exact same options I had last time. I got us a joy. Cat hairs. Um, let's just let's she? do something else. I already told you she's fine. You look horrible. And you're missing an arm. I'm doing just fine. Go over there. By the way, I'm not sure if you can notice, but I've lowered the settings from my uh, mic. Put because your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Um, apparently I was shouting a bit too much into the mic. Quiet, you know, don't please, do sweetie. Destroy your ears. <laughs> your things. There. Okay. Um. Yeah, I only have this radio. This is all I've got. Okay. Going to keep the cleaver. I don't believe you. Uh, that's everything. That's everything. Go ahead and search me. No, I'm not touching you. Just sit down. So like last time, I still have the cleaver somewhere. So if I get the chance, I'm going to... Do you know who I am? Chop his head off or something. Um, let's choose yes now. Yeah. I know who you are. You saw my car out front then. You see anything else you want in there? Not a whole lot left. I did take from you. Your people didn't? I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? Um. It wasn't it right. It wasn't right. It wasn't our stuff. That's real good of you. Look, what do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. <clears throat> I want you to know. I know what happened. Have you ever you told me last episode. Somebody you care about. Mm. Not on purpose. If it were on purpose, you'd be a sociopath. I hurt her so bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting, even though my wife said. He was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. It's kind of cool though that we the small out. things you do we never found him. Um, in an episode I heard her can have such so big... Bad. Um, how do you call it? And then we came back 
and all our Some stuff big, was gone. Uh, so big of a consequence the later on. Be. That asshole in the ball cap. His stupid fucking wife. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. Well, um, it's not my fault. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. No, he doesn't Until even listen. She finally, took our daughter Elizabeth. Said something else the last time. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? That's still yes. Yes. If you think that now, it took a little kid. Wait. So yes, I'm not you're still right. a monster. You let that little girl get fed disgusting human meat. It's more complicated than that. That's the you thing I chose to her last time. About who you really are. How does he know all this, by the way? Um. Wasn't the right time to tell her. You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died. I couldn't leave her at the house alone. She would have been better off. Who is he, he to say that? It's just some guy I've never met. In... How could you know all this? Yeah, exactly. Did Clementine tell him all of that? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. Um... Just give me Clementine back. I'd rather kill her myself. Because that's what will happen if she goes with you. Mm -mm -mm. After I found Clementine oh, on no. the radio, I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others, for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Our Lead plan? Me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. This guy is I sick bet you in the don't head. Know how old she is? She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. Mm -mm. Nope. That's not happening. Crazy. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Keeping you can forget you about it. Crazy. You'll have to kill me. Yeah, I know. Hey, honey, I think this is all gonna work out. What are you? I'm glad too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Okay, can I do anything? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. Smack him on the head! Thank you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. Smack him on the she head! Her to fly. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh shit. One. 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 Use the cleaver. Oh. oh, he's gonna get it. He's gonna get it. Come on. I'm pressing Q already. Come on. Come on. Oh, I'm still pressing Q. I don't think it's needed anymore, but... <sighs> what 
Wow, strangled the guy with one hand. Better take the gun with me. No, there's no need to shoot him in the head. No. Uh -uh. He, he could come back. It's okay, sweet pea. We're leaving. Good. I'm sorry. <sighs> Thank God. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Hmm. Your arm's gone. Why? That's so scary. I had an accident. We'll talk about it somewhere safe. You don't smell good. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> um, let's see. Did, did he, he hurt, hurt you? you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Cleo, it's okay. You somewhere safe, and then we have to talk, okay? Yeah, everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. Yeah, we need to get out of here. Yeah, I don't think he'll be in any more trouble. I'm sorry you had to see that. He was going to kill you. Take you. Yeah. Okay, let's just have another look at him. <sighs> oh, okay. Um, is there anything else we can do here? Is this it? Just it. in the bowling bag here oh you gotta be kidding me Jesus. what look at there. No, I know. was that his wife he was talking to which way out through there that's creepy okay let's go through here Holy shit. Whoa. Uh, uh, uh. Oh shit. It it didn't bite you. Yeah. I know it. Must have. You're covered in all that gross stuff to get through a bunch of them to get here. Hmm. That's how we'll get out of Savannah. <laughs> I have to smear her into all of the nasty goo. Ah, oh, come on, really? You have to do that. They smell horrible, which means you have to, too. Okay. <laughs> Yuck. Uh, Chop Walker. Oh no. Uh, yep. Scoop Walker. Oh man, that's disgusting. Oh man, this is disgusting. Smear <laughs> Clementine. Oh. At least it's warm. <laughs> this is so gross. We'll get you cleaned up as soon as we can. Not soon enough. Smear the back as well. Ew. Are you done? A little more. I want to be sure. Mm. 
Oh man, she's gonna hurl. There. That should do it. I Aww. hope so. And you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Hmm. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe. Oh, we don't need the walkie-talkie anymore. Oh, well, at least it's good that we have her back. Oh man, there's so many of them. That's gotta smell really, really bad. At least they they let us walk. That's a good thing. Oh, come on. Just keep going, keep going. Man, I would shit my pants if I was walking over there. Which would probably help though. Because <laughs> they all sound, or they all smell disgusting. Oh god, this guy. Okay, well, at least they don't care if I bump into, uh, bump into them. That's a good thing. Oh, that's probably her mother or something. Gotta be the worst point on fading. Where the hell are are we now? Free, wake up! Please don't be dead. Please no. Free, oh. I was so scared. I, I, I thought you left me. I, I, I saw my parents. No, it's not a good thing. They didn't get to you, right? No. Well, we got away. They're dead, for sure. Uh, I don't look so good. I look a bit Done. pale. We have to get out of here as fast as we can. Well, we can't. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through No, no, that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't! Do it! It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. Pull on three. One. Two. Three! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Pull it! <coughs> uh, I'm not strong enough. Oh, I don't want to eat her. Mom is gone because I cut it off. Why would you do that? Because I was bitten, Clem. Please, no. No. That's not true. Yes, it is. <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Clementine. I'm supposed to take care of you. I can't now. I know. I hope the others are still, um, the other two are still alive. I, I think there might be a way out over there. <laughs> Security officer. Yeah. Let's go. I might be a little slow. I'll help you. Oh, I hate having to do this to her. I got you. You can lean on me if you have to. I'm okay. I'm okay. I thought I was.
was helping by bringing you in here. Um. You couldn't have known. I should have told you. It was scary at the hotel. Yeah. Keep going. <sighs> okay. There. Yeah, we'll still have to deal with this guy over there. Well, she has to deal with him, I think. Because they can even barely walk. <laughs> 